everyone, Dates here, back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at SAC 23 version 7 for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So this is for S8 software, port it onto our devices. So it is based on Android 7.0, Samsung Experience version 8.1 and comes with the 1st of August Android security patch. It also comes with pre-installed Moro kernel version 1.9 which is a really welcome change since uh, right now this is uh, the best ROM when it comes to uh, the best kernel sorry when it comes to performance and battery. So if you want to see full change work just uh, be sure to click over here into the top right corner so it will pop up right now because I made a full video covering all the changes and uh, the only two changes which I did not cover are uh, so let me just take a look this is all the all that i've covered and 29 is added screen off animations thanks to Giuseppe and uh, that uh, you can set the custom animation value so uh, we will see those uh, right now and also i'll uh, put uh, a download link into the description so uh, right off let's go to the rom control application which is sac 23 settings so the change is over here when we go to general walk screen mode, you can see that there is enable quick face and walk so that uh, you can decide whether uh, the walk screen will be dismissed when your face is recognized when uh, you have enabled face and walk. So to enable face and walk, go to settings, then go to walk screen and security. And after you set a password, click on smart walk and then you'll see uh, face and walk. So this is uh, how you set it up. It's really simple. So uh, next thing over here, so uh, you can pause of course at every time to take a look at uh, um, the changes. So uh, I've covered uh, the full changes into another video. So uh, if you're new to the channel, you can just pause and uh, take a look. So uh, when you download ROM, be sure to click over here to switch colors to disable them because this is something that uh, isn't uh, really cool. So, so you have keypad covers to the keyboard and also album art to be set it as a wallpaper. So uh, new things over here are that uh, you can uh, choose to show stock battery bar. This is uh, not something uh, new. So uh, let me just uh, find it over here. There is uh, right now apps protection so that uh, there is protection for queue up action and uh, you can whitelist it. So uh, that uh, when you're in this menu, when you uh, click to close all, certain application will not be closed and uh, so on. So something um, new over here is the animation screen off. So we can change, choose to have fade, fade out, interior shutter and outer shutter. So uh, right now this is the default one, like uh, everyone knows it. So let me just clear up my notifications. Next one is fade out. So you can see the screen kind of fades out. The third one is interior shutter. So I don't find uh, any big of a difference between those, but it's up to you. And outer shutter, which goes from the center to the screen, but uh, I like to keep it on uh, default. So you have key mapping modes and uh, the biggest thing over here is that you have Bixby shortcuts. So for example, right now I can say was the weather Bixby and uh, it will answer me. So if I go to full screen, you can see that full screen has been uh, perfectly uh, fine. Was weather for tomorrow. And uh, you can uh, see the perfect example why I'm not uh, using Bixby. So this is uh, fully working even from the walk screen. So you can see that if I tap and hold my power key and you can choose to uh, set this as uh, any key that uh, you decide. So right now I'll show you how to do this. So uh, of course go to SAC 23 settings and then you go up to the key mapping mode and uh, for example I've set it into power key and uh, when you go to one press action so I have it as a one press action you can see on the bottom there is Bixby voice so you can set it to, to triple triple tap power double tap power and one uh, now you can send it set it uh, to this one so these are basically uh, when it's working and this is uh, for the walk screen. So this is something really nice that you can access Bixby from everywhere. But of course just on the S8 it's not working uh, really good. So let's try it one more time. Set an one for tomorrow at 8. You can see that uh, you can see that uh, it didn't uh, code the whole phrase. So um, these are basically uh, the newest things into this ROM. Again, full change walk. There is a video about that. 
And uh, something uh, really also cool is that when you go to settings, developer options, and uh, when you scroll to the custom animations, so you can see to the animation scale, you can set it to basically any value. So uh, on the stock one, you have uh, animations of 0 0.5 and 1 and 1, then uh, there they go. But uh, for me, 0 0.5 is uh, fast and uh, 1 is uh, slow. So 0.8 is uh, perfect for me. So I've set it uh, to any of those. So I'm really glad that uh, SAC found a way to uh, to to make uh, the ROM uh, smoother by uh, and uh, more responsive by making uh, the recent uh, keys uh, really good. So uh, for example, on the previous version there was a delay when you tried to press on the recent key or the back key, which as you can see right now has been fixed and it's uh, working uh, perfectly. Also this uh, went uh, for the home button and right now it's fixed. So something that is missing in this ROM and that uh, it is in other ROMs is when you go to camera. So let me just uh, take a look. So yeah, it's the back camera. When you go to camera, settings, and then you come over here to quick launch. I've set it to press power key twice and this is working on every ROM besides this one. So uh, I've set it uh, via the ROM control application, but uh, you can see why this isn't dope because when you're on the walk screen and you double tap, it's not working, so uh, you can't uh, jump uh, straight into the camera. There is not uh, that uh, quick shortcut, so you have to swipe up. And uh, when you have it uh, on the walk screen, you can have one more shortcut over here and not the camera one. But uh, this is uh, some uh, really small thing. So otherwise, when it comes to battery life, today I've been using uh, the ROM, the device for 12 hours, and uh, I got. Uh, two hours of screen on time with 30% left of battery and uh, the phone has been uh, standby for the most time so this isn't uh, the best battery life it's probably one of the worst but uh, this was its second charge so uh, if I have uh, to uh, review it from 1 to 10 I'll probably put it 7.5 where uh, to battery Ambassador ROM and uh, Batman ROM comes uh, on top so uh, only this ROM can get better and better so uh, be sure and uh, stay tuned. Also be sure to uh, choose uh, Magiskin and any rule that you want. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.